Hey guys, welcome to November Favorites. I have a ton of makeup in front of me. Uh, the last time I did a Favorites was in September, so we kind of skipped a month and I have all of the goods lined up. Looking at this collection right here, I just want to point out that this video is really geared toward makeup junkies only. So if you don't want a video that is just the very best makeup products on the planet, in my opinion, uh, then this might not be it the typical favorites video for you because I don't have skincare or body care or anything like that. It's just all makeup and I have luxury items and drugstore. So I'm really excited with this roundup. These are things that I have been using every single day that I pack with me in my to-go bag, whether I am touching it throughout the day traveling. It's just like all of the best of the best. So let's hop right in. I don't know why I always say hop, like where are we all jumping into makeup land together? I don't know. Um, all right, you know what? Let's start with a little drugstore stuff because who doesn't love something on a budget? I fell hard in love with this product over this past month specifically. I did a favorites and hate it's for CoverGirl and this powder is the most incredible powder for setting your under eye concealer. It just has this creamy texture and I love that it makes my concealer completely bulletproof. Nothing creases. I don't even really have to bake. Like if I don't have time and I'm not doing full glam, I can absolutely skip that step using this powder. I actually use a darker powder on my face and then I use shade 105 just underneath my eyes and any area that I really want to highlight. Now this is not a mattifying powder. This is their kind of age preventative advanced radiance powder. So it doesn't make your skin shiny by any means. Like don't read the word radiance and think that you're putting highlighter everywhere, you're not. It just has a creamy texture to it and it's not going to mattify the skin. This is one of those things where I'm like, go out and buy it. Trust me, you will love it. You will fall hard in love and and then you'll just come back to my channel in the comments and thank me later. Another item that is soon to be a drugstore item is for your brows. I'm so excited about this. I still receive emails almost every day from you guys asking about this product and where you can purchase it. So uh, what we're talking about is the Wonder Brow. I use this every day of my life. Whether I'm using other brow products or not, or using this on its own, this is just something that I have to use. This is my second tube. You can already see I'm kind of down through right here. And what this is, is a brow product that is 72 hour wear, like crazy wear time. And you might be thinking, what on earth? It looks like a lip gloss that is a brown shade. Uh, how does this work for your brows? And I'm gonna encourage you to watch my WTF where I put this to the test. I'm not even exaggerating. I sat in a sauna wearing this brow product. I have gone to bed wearing this brow product. I have been in pools wearing this brow product in chlorine and nothing takes it off. It is the weirdest, craziest thing. But if you use soap and water or an oil makeup remover, you can easily remove it. So don't think that you're putting like a permanent product on your brows. It's not difficult to take off when you wanna take it off. But if you're looking for something that is just gonna power through any situation, this is for the win. It does come in five shades. I have the shade Brunette. They have an even darker one one that I sometimes use as well, but it's just a wonderful, wonderful product. And the way that I like to apply it, if I'm doing a more natural brow and not sculpting things out, I will just go directly from the tube and I will kind of fan the color upward. And then I will take a brow brush and kind of brush the color through and keep working in the product. Now, if I wanna get really precise, which is what I did today, I will actually take a little bit out on my glass palette. I will take a brow brush, like an angled brow brush, and I will feather strokes in, and it just looks so realistic. It is beautiful. It's not terribly expensive. Ever since I did the video featuring this, the company emails me every now and again and kind of updates me, and they're like, hey, we're in CVS now. Hey, we rolled out to 500 stores. Our company's growing. They even have other products that I think I'm gonna try. They have a lip plumper that I think maybe would be fun for an OMG Tuesday. But also, they did email me in one of those update emails, a discount code for 20% off. I'm always a little bit hesitant to say that to you guys because it just sounds a little bit pushy, but I'm not making any commission off of it. It's just a code for you guys. So I will have that in the description box below, but I am telling you, this is the best, the 
the best brow product. I freaking cannot live without this. I mean, all of the little mechanical, you know, brow whiz-esque pencils are very different than this. Like I have not come across another product this unique, which is why it's a favorite. So definitely check it out. What's love got to do? Got to do this. I forgot to share with you guys what brush I am using to make the drugstore powder work so magically. And this is one of those situations where it's like, yes, it's a drugstore product. It's great, it's amazing, but it works even better if you have a flat, fluffy brush like this, which is kind of a weird description on a brush. Like usually either things are flat like a foundation brush or they are fluffy like a powder brush. This is somewhat of a hybrid and I don't have any other brushes like this. This is from Kat Von D. This is the number 25 and it just fits perfectly underneath your eye. So if you are doing your concealer and then you're just going right up in here, you can kind of push a little bit on the side of your nose, then go underneath the eye and I just pat, 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 pat. And I repeat the process, pat, 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 pat. Sometimes I'll go inward a little bit, brush out a little bit onto the cheek and it just lays the product down beautifully. Whether you're using the CoverGirl one or not, this is my favorite for setting concealer underneath the eye. I also will take this a little bit around the nose sometimes, just on the tip. It's just a wonderful brush, so I have been majorly into it. I have a bit of a throwback favorite because this is something that I used, oh my gosh, I think I started using it over 10 years ago. I always kind of cringe when I say like, I've been using this for a decade because I really feel like I'm driving it home, that I am a woman in my 30s. Yes, I am not in my 20s. Um, and you know, part of the cool part of that is I've tried a crap ton of products and I can really like go back in this library of what I've used and what has worked and what has really standed the test of time, especially in the cosmetics industry. If something worked back then and it's still a bestseller now, that says something to me at least. So this is from Jane Iredell. This is their pressed mineral powder. Holy smokes. I love this. This is in Golden Glow. The way that I like to use this right now, because it's a little bit dark for me, I actually super, super enjoy using this as bronzer. It gives a little extra coverage, but the way the minerals blend out, it is not choppy or streaky or uneven in tone at all. It doesn't grab onto certain areas of your face and look like you need to blend. It just looks like this wash of color, which is giving you coverage on top of it, which is great if you are doing full glam especially. So I'll just take a domed brush like this. This is also a Kat Von D brush. I'm really into her brushes right now. This is the number 20, and I literally will just bronze and kind of contour all at the same time. Taking it up on the forehead a little bit, and it really, bronzes your skin so beautifully, effortlessly. I cannot say enough. This is a beautiful product. If you want to use this as foundation, oh my God, you will have flawless skin, perfect skin. This will cover everything if you use a sponge or a, you know, really dense, something like this, like a flat, densely packed brush. You would want to swirl in this powder put it on your face, buff, 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 and it will give you full coverage. Use a looser brush like this all over the place if you want lighter coverage, but it's very easy to manipulate and use. And actually, I don't really know why I am like rambling on about this. This was my hot product from yesterday's Style Code Live. Definitely check out the episode. It aired yesterday. I will link it below. It was a good episode. Um, and yeah, this was the hot product of the week. And ever since I have been using this again, I have been super, super happy with my bronzer and with the way my skin looks. And also it's fast. You can put that makeup on like that, be out the door, done. It's not gonna clog your pores. It has an SPF of 20 and there's nothing in here that's gonna irritate sensitive skin. If you're looking at the price tag of that one and going, holy crap, Tati, I cannot afford that. Check out the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Pressed Powder from the drugstore. It's around 10, 15 bucks awesome quality as well. Um, those are my two favorite mineral pressed powders. I don't think this is gonna come as a surprise to you guys because if you look in the description box of almost every single video over the past month-ish, I have more often than not been wearing yummy cookies from ColourPop. This is their Hello Kitty launch and this is such a beautiful highlight. It has a little bit of a pinky tone to it, so I don't ever really like to use it on my nose. I did that once and I didn't like how it looked. But when you take a dampened sponge especially and almost get on the apple of the cheek a little bit, 
It just looks so pretty and I think it's great. It's super affordable, love it. Look at the color on that. Is that not so gorgeous? I'm in heaven when I wear this. And then if I'm like, hey, this is not enough. I need even more glow and shine. I will reach for this guy from MAC. This is from MAC. This is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam. And I'm loving all of these new um, skin finishes. You could use that as eyeshadow, easy inner corner highlight on the cheeks. Um, I am wearing my Tom Ford highlight today. I just reviewed that product, so it's not like I am putting it into favorites, but it's a really good one. So it you know, definitely deserves to be in this little grouping. But those two I've been reaching for the most over the past month. I actually have another ColourPop item to share with you. The reason that I wanna share this one with you is because it's limited and I know that a lot of people want this color and then when you can't purchase it, it's really frustrating. Koosh from ColourPop, I used this in my under five makeup tutorial that I posted on Monday. This is such a special color. I think out of all of my ColourPop shadows, this one is my favorite. It is really icy, but there is something flattering and almost warming about it. It just really doesn't make your face look gray or unhealthy. Like there's something bright and healthy about it, if that makes any sense. Sometimes when you wear something that's more silver tone like this, um, it's just, it doesn't work. It doesn't have the right finish to it. This has this taupey type of purple undertone that just flatters the crap out of your skin tone. And it works with so many different shadows, even on its own. It's just a beautiful, beautiful cream shadow and I am obsessed. Also for your eyes, this might not seem too terribly exciting, but when I find a really good brush, I have to share it with you, like the Kat Von D one. Uh, this one is from Urban Decay. This is a part of their new brush launch. This is the Precise Eyeliner, the E216. This makes putting on gel liner the easiest thing ever. I feel like I can just kind of go in and there is something about this brush that just allows me to go boop, 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 wing it out and I'm done. It gets so close to your lash line, like pushed up to your lashes, the root of the lashes, there's no gapping, there's no kind of weird ridgy edges when you stroke the brush. It's just a beautiful, gorgeous brush. If you use gel liner a lot, I would definitely recommend this. This is the Blackest Black Lacquer Liner from L'Oreal and these two together, absolute winning combination. Yay for good winged liner that doesn't make you wanna pull your hair out, right? <laughs> Um, another little secret that I have been using for years, and I always mention this whenever I do snap tutorials. Um, I mention this sometimes when I do tutorials here on YouTube, but I don't think I've ever put this in a favorites, and I just wanna chat about this palette for a moment. This is the Camouflage Cream from Kryolan. This is a professional makeup palette. It has 16 shades, and if you are a makeup junkie, I think that you, know, you don't have to be a professional to use an item like this. I think that you can mix it and you'll be fine on your own. So what I do is I like to take, you can see I kind of use a bunch of different colors here. I mainly take D4, D50, and D51, and I kind of mix them together to match up to whatever foundation I'm wearing. Then I can conceal any of these little pigment spots, any you know breakouts. It's just a really rich, intensely pigmented cream concealer. And there's really nothing else out there like it. So when people email me and they're like, what should I do to cover up my acne? Or what can I do that really will give me a lot of coverage? I just find the professional items to be a little more affordable, A, and B, they have more pigment, they're made for television and stage, but if you're using it in small amounts just to conceal little areas, it's not gonna look cakey or weird. It's definitely something to go online and try to hunt down and, and try out. This right here is a mini page from the Trish McAvoy Makeup Wardrobe Kit, and I just pulled this little guy out. I'm trying out a bunch of Trish McAvoy products right now, and so far I'm really, really loving everything. I'm curious to hear from you guys. Have you tried the line? Do you know a lot about the line? Leave me in the comments below products that you think I should try out because I'm very, very new to it, but I have to say this bronzer so impressed me. It gives you a really nice warmth to your skin and it's just a beautiful bronzer. I keep reaching for this over and over and over. It's very forgiving, it's fast makeup, and the blush and the powder in here are great as well. So I'm really intrigued by the whole line. They have these planners that have like the little punch holes in here and you can actually put it in your little binder. It's like a whole thing. 
I'm going to try more. And then I think maybe I'll do like a favorites and hate it's or something along those lines. But if you need a good bronzer and you're just looking for your everyday bronzer, not like the super high coverage Jane Iredell one, then this is something really beautiful to check out. I have a few lip items to share with you and they are both from Smashbox. These are two of the best nude shades I think I have ever used in my entire life. I keep using these over and over and over and over. And every time I reach for them, I'm like, Tati, come on, you're being so boring. Like use something different. And then I'll be like, no, I love this. And I will keep using these. They just, they work. They sit on your lips beautifully. They do not settle in the cracks of your lips. They have a very plumping effect. And I think these are so awesome. So I have the shade Monogamous. This is their Be Legendary lipstick. I also have the shade Famous. I'm just gonna put it on in front of you guys so that you can kind of see. Like even throughout the day when I touch up my lipstick, you can put this on top of other things and it doesn't bunch up. And I kind of just go to town and like wiggle the bullet back and forth and back and forth and almost try to layer it up a little bit. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I feel like it gives me more fullness and because the formula is so gel and doesn't bunch up, you can do that. I love it. I love it so much. I cannot even get enough. And it does stay on for a really long time considering it's not a long wear product. And last but not least, you guys know that I have had this major love affair going on with the Essie Gel Couture. This is Take Me to Thread because I kept seeing pictures on Twitter and all of your manicures looked amazing. And this just kind of goes with everything. It's a perfect fall color that's still really feminine and girly at the same time. This is day seven and I have a little bit of tip wear. Um, I'm really hard on my nails. I open packages all the time. I forget that I am wearing polish and kind of dig into everything. It's a really bad habit, don't do that. But this is a very chip resistant polish. It's the best I've found that is actual nail polish and not you know, an Insalon gel manicure. So I love this shade. It goes on so smooth. You literally just paint it on. There's no streaking, there's no pull to it. It just gives you an even coat each time. When you're using the gel couture though, do not not use the top coat. Everybody says, oh my gosh, mine chipped. Like, what did I do? And I'm like, well, you have to use the top coat. Like they go together. If you're gonna buy this polish, you may as well buy the top coat with it. Um, but I think that this is a really good color too, regardless, I just, I like it. Those are my favorites. Oh my goodness, they were all makeup related, except for that last one right there. It kind of snuck in at the end. But uh, I hope this gives you a good idea of some awesome products to pick out that are luxury, that are drugstore. I think it was a good roundup and I'm gonna continue using every single item here, I think for the next several months because I'm just so comfortable with all of these products. They are home run favorites. Be sure to check out the description box below for that link for Style Code Live. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video. Mwah.